Francisco, Milwaukee, and St. Louis, so they play everybody in the division in the next 21 games. Um, so if it's going to be Darvish, Lester, and Quintana, you think after that it's Alzali, Hendricks, and, or his chat would get the start? No, that's a great question. I, I, I think it's Alzali. I think it's Alzali. If there could be some unknown reason that convinces them to go another direction. Um, Alzali pitched last night, looked okay from what I understand, struck out a lot of guys. So will go to the Futures game. I think it'll be Alzali. But um, you never know. It could go either way with right. the chat. With it. I think Al's late last start was just uh, just one of those things that's going to happen every so often. He got a, a bad one out of the way. He came after that team meeting. I was on with you the other day. I think that was a mistake to have a players-only meeting and have him involved before he pitches. But whatever. Uh, who knows what the cause was. Um, the one thing about next weekend I should mention, uh, they, I don't, they, the Cubs learned that you have to have as many lefties go up against the Pirates as you can to neutralize them a little bit. They are really good against righties this year, so hence seeing two, Lester and Quintana, in that series against Pittsburgh. So that's definitely why um, you're not getting a second righty after you Darvish in that series. So that's that. That's that. I think it'll be out July. The chat was the long man, uh, but I could be wrong about that as we move forward. Yeah, let's, let's see how this plays out with them. They don't have to make a decision yet. Jesse, I know you've been waiting for this uh, uh, soccer update. The USA scoring on a penalty kick in the 61st minute. Uh, they leave one nothing over the Netherlands. I know that uh, you probably have cash on that one. Hope you well, find the my, my niece is a big soccer fan, and she went over there. I don't know if she's still there for the finals. So okay. I know she's excited, so I'm happy for her. Well, they're open, so she probably they got a seat at a good price today. <laughs> now, before I let you go, you mentioned Jake Arrieta, who they say he has bone spurs. He'll probably still pitch throughout the year, but they'll have to have surgery afterwards. Yesterday, he hit Todd Frazier uh, with a curve or uh, a changeup, and Frazier, who had gotten hit the night before, was not happy. He starts barking. Here, for you probably heard it, but for the people who have not heard it, it's really short. Here's what Jake Arrieta had to say about Todd Frazier being upset about getting hit by pitch. Frazier's not happy about it. He can come see me, and I'll, I'll put it down. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't actually did not hear the audio of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. He, he can come see me. I'll put it dead to this skull. I mean, I, I don't know if Major League Baseball is going to react to that. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I, and I don't know the history. Someone else asked me today about the history between those two. I, I don't know of any. Yeah. I don't know of any. So maybe he, he maybe Arietta and Adam Eaton are friends. You're lucky you yeah. didn't. You, you're, yeah, maybe. You're lucky you didn't aggravate him when you were in the cab together. He could have put it ten years ago, years ago. Yeah, you know. Oh, I mean, since we're on the topic, a couple things. Uh, yeah. First of all, you got to give the Cubs credit. Their evaluation of Jake is turning out to be correct. They were worried about injury possibilities, and you're seeing it now. One year after he signs there, he's got something going on in his arm. Um, they're also just worried about regression, and their evaluation of him was, was going to be, you know, was, he's been gonna, he was going to go backwards, not getting any better, not that he could get much better after 15, but, you know, I was one of those that would have taken Arietta over Darvish. It turns out neither, yes, turned right. out to be, neither is turning out to be a great pick, so they invested money. Either way, it would have been maybe a mistake. Um, but you have to give them credit, because I know they're worried about injury possibilities with his motion, the way he throws. The other thing is, hearing that stuff, you know, sources, whatever you want to say, people tell me he is not very comfortable in Philadelphia. Okay. And that's, and that's the other side of the question. He may have, he might be regretting, I mean, he loved it in Chicago. He was comfortable. He had a support system like none other here. His career blossomed here. So we don't know if he'd have a 4 6 7 ERA. I will say that, but we can't go, we, we don't have that other reality to look at, so I'd say good job by the Cubs, sort of going against the grain and everyone else's opinion and, and not offering them the big, big money, but also, I don't think Jake's very happy or comfortable there and coming out in different ways on the mound, and obviously after the game as well, Yeah. but nobody, I don't think anybody knows the history there, what, where, where, when did Frazier pick him off, so that's something to maybe investigate. Yeah. Uh, enjoy the game today. We will hopefully uh, we won't bother you too much this week. Well, tomorrow's on. okay. Tomorrow's okay. okay. We're in the finale today, but from Tuesday to Friday, to lose my number. That would be nice. Okay, Josh. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, but, I mean, get you. Get yeah. to lose my number. I, 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 right. Uh, there's no doubt. I know what you meant. Uh, yeah, Thanks, Jeff.
Jesse Rogers out at the ballpark, guaranteed race. Uh, quickly, the lineups again before we get to some other baseball stuff. A lot of great baseball stuff going in. We'll look at the standings and we go into the All-Star break. For the Cubs, it'll be Schwarber in left, Baez at short, Chris Bryant at third base, Anthony Rizzo's at first with Wilson Contreras DHing, Jason Hayward in right field, Victor Caratini is behind the plate, Robel Garcia getting it started second base today, and Albert Almora is in center field, Kyle Hendricks on the hill. And for the White Sox, Larry Garcia at short, Yohan Moncada at third base, it'll be Jose Abreu at first, James McCann at catching. In right, John Jay, it'll be uh, Eli Menes in uh, left field. Yomer Sanchez in second base, Charlie Tilson in center field. Uh, DH will be Zach Collins, and on the mound, Ivan Nova trying to get the White Sox, even with the Cubs, for the Crosstown Series. More baseball, we come back. Freddie Huebner with you right here on ESPN 1000. Amstel Light knows there's nothing like finally getting together with old friends out on the golf course. It's why Amstel Light is partnering with GolfNow.com, the number one golf tee time booking site, to save you $20 for the next round of 18 and for a chance to win $100 in GolfNow credit. Visit AmstelLight.com or a local retailer for complete rules and details. Amstel Light, the beer drinker's light beer. No purchase necessary. Must be 21 or over to enter. Void where prohibited. Enjoy Amstel Light responsibly. Copyright 2019, Amstel Light Lager Beer. Imported by Amstel USA, Every long ball, every deep fly, every glass, Jinger, Tater, Jack, and Brian Bob, every Rizzo rocket, every hobby, slim slide, steel tag, and turn, every lecture cut, every splitter, slider, sinker, oh, look out, pick up! Every ticket at Cubs.com. Monday, July 15th at 7.05. Up to the first 10,000 early arriving fans. We'll see the Chris Bryant round of golf bobblehead presented by Las Vegas. Hi, I'm Tito Beveridge, founder and master distiller at Tito's Handmade Vodka. In the mid-90s, I bought a piece of land in Austin with a credit card check and built the very first micro distillery in the history of the state of Texas. I'd never built a still before, so I did some research and designed and built my own pot stills based on Prohibition-era bust photos I found in the library. I didn't know then that this was kind of the start of the American craft distilling movement right here in Austin, Texas. Cheers. 80 proof Tito's handmade vodka distilled and bottled in Austin, Texas. Tito's All right, time for some straight talk. You wouldn't pay $100 for seats to a baseball game. We can get the same seats for 50 bucks. So why pay more on your wireless when you can get the same 4G LTE networks for up to half the cost? For $45 a month, we get our unlimited plan with 25 gigs of high-speed data from Straight Talk Wireless. No contract, only a Walmart. Savings may vary. See terms and conditions at straighttalk.com. You can always count on Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Always crisp, always easy drinking, always just right. The perfect balance of flavor and refreshment since 1903. Welcome to the High Life. 